From ancient astronomers charting the vast expanse of the night sky to modern geneticists deciphering the blueprint of life within the double helix of our DNA, humanity has always been on an epic journey of discovery. We've managed to reach the extreme depths of our oceans, unlocking secrets held by the murky abyss and even soared through the cosmic vastness to touch the moon's desolate landscape. Yet, despite these awe-inspiring achievements, an intricate landscape remains largely uncharted, a territory that lies not thousands of miles away, but right here within us. It's an internal cosmos, a universe within a universe, where the spectacles are not composed of stars and galaxies, but of a hundred billion neurons firing sparks of consciousness. This is the human brain, a landscape as mysterious as the universe it seeks to understand. In Switzerland, one ambitious research facility is pioneering this endeavor through what is known as the Blue Brain Project. Initiated by neurobiologist Henry Markram in 2005, this project has one aim, to create a fully functional, biologically realistic, 3D digital reconstruction of the mammalian brain. What sets the Blue Brain Project apart from others is its scale. It's not just about understanding neurons, it's about simulating them. The team uses the power of the IBM Blue Gene supercomputer capable of performing a staggering 22.8 trillion calculations per second to reproduce the neocortical column of a two-week-old rat brain. The choice to simulate a rat's neocortical column wasn't arbitrary. Composed of about 31,000 neurons, this minute section of the rat brain is considered a fundamental building block. And while this might seem minuscule compared to the estimated 86 billion neurons in a human brain, successfully simulating this column would mark a significant milestone in neuroscience. But why create a virtual brain? The objective is to gain a deeper understanding of the brain's structure and function to learn how thousands of neurons communicate and coordinate, creating a symphony of thoughts and perceptions. Understanding this could help unlock secrets of various neurological conditions and pave the way for potential treatments. Peering into the future, the Blue Brain Project aims to complete the first draft of the human brain by 2025. While this deadline might be ambitious, even partial success could revolutionize neuroscience, opening new frontiers in our understanding of the brain. The process begins with meticulously recorded data from a real, living brain. Neuroscientists use special microscopes to observe and record how neurons interact, how they fire and communicate. This data forms the bedrock of the simulation, providing the details that the supercomputer will later use to create its virtual brain. Next, the data is digitized, transformed into binary language that the supercomputer understands. The Blue Gene supercomputer then uses this data to generate a three-dimensional model of the brain. Each neuron, each synapse, every tiny detail is painstakingly reproduced to create a biologically realistic virtual model. But the creation of the model is only the beginning. To truly simulate the brain, the Blue Brain Project needs to make this virtual brain think. The supercomputer mimics the firing of neurons and the exchange of neurotransmitters, creating patterns of thought in the virtual brain. As the Blue Brain Project progresses, the team has made several groundbreaking discoveries, for example, in 2015, the team published a paper in the scientific journal Cell, where they revealed that the brain operates on up to 11 different dimensions, creating multi-dimensional geometrical structures and spaces within mere milliseconds. In 2020, the team published a paper detailing their construction of digital reconstructions of neurons that they called Chandelier cells. These cells are believed to play a crucial role in various neurological disorders, such as schizophrenia and epilepsy. Understanding how these cells work could potentially lead to groundbreaking treatments for these conditions. Yet, despite these remarkable strides, critics of the Blue Brain Project argue that the initiative is overly ambitious and perhaps even impossible. They point to the brain's sheer complexity and the multitude of unknowns that still exist within neuroscience. Some neuroscientists argue that even if we could accurately map every neuron and synapse, simulating the mind's processes is a whole different challenge, one that might prove insurmountable. Nonetheless, the Blue Brain Project moves forward, under Ted. Driven by a vision of unlocking the brain's secrets, the project continues to push the boundaries of what's possible. 
While it's still uncertain if they will fully achieve their goals, the knowledge they are gaining in the process is invaluable. Looking ahead, we can only speculate about the potential implications and applications of a successful virtual brain. Imagine a world where neurological disorders are fully understood, where treatments for conditions like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's are not only possible but commonplace. Picture a world where our understanding of the human brain is so profound that we can enhance cognitive abilities or treat mental illness more effectively. To better understand the gravity of this quest, let's unpack some of the challenges the Blue Brain Project team faces. To start with, the human brain contains approximately 86 billion neurons, each connecting to about 1,000 others, resulting in a staggering 100 trillion connections, or synapses. Simulating this vast network of intricate connections is a Herculean task that pushes even the most powerful supercomputers to their limits. Then there's the issue of complexity. The human brain is the most complex organ in the known universe. The interactions between neurons, the way they fire, the role of neurotransmitters, the influence of genetics and environment, all these elements and more come together in an intricate dance of unimaginable complexity. To simulate this dance is to attempt to reproduce the most complicated piece of organic machinery we've ever encountered. The Blue Brain Project isn't just about technology, it's about neuroscience, data science, and software engineering. It's about gathering and interpreting data, developing algorithms to make sense of this data, and programming supercomputers to process this data accurately. It's about neuroscientists, engineers, and programmers working together, breaking down the barriers between disciplines to create something truly unprecedented. Despite these challenges, the Blue Brain Project continues to make significant strides. In 2020, the project achieved a critical milestone. They successfully simulated a small section of a rat's brain, composed of 31,000 neurons and 37 million synapses. This feat, while only a tiny fraction of a human brain, represents a monumental achievement and a stepping stone towards their ultimate goal. Critics of the Blue Brain Project argue that the challenges are insurmountable, that the complexity of the human brain will always elude us. But perhaps these critics are missing the point. Even if the project never fully achieves its goal of simulating an entire human brain, the knowledge gained in the process is invaluable. With every step forward, we deepen our understanding of the brain, paving the way for new treatments, new therapies, and new insights into the human mind. So, as we peer into the future, let's celebrate this endeavor and all the groundbreaking research it propels. And as always, stay curious, keep exploring, and let's dive into the mysteries of the universe together.